Welcome back to the North Mankato Community Update. I'm Anna Meyer, and I'm joined by City Administrator John Herrenstein. Good to see you. And Mayor Mark Dean. Good afternoon. We're here at the Spring Lake Park Swim Facility, and there are tons of people here, <laughs> social distancing, of course, but they look like they're having a good time, don't you think? It does look like a lot of fun, and it's a great day to get started with the swimming. Yeah, big victory to open this up um, uh, during the uh, COVID crisis, and Thanks to the state of Minnesota, Governor Walls, for providing us guidance on how to do it safely, for the council for supporting opening the facility, and then thanks to the visitors. It's a great amenity uh, during this time to have for uh, summer for kids and families. And we're excited to get this open. You know, last year we had cut off with a pretty short season of 23 days, and this year we're short a couple of weeks, but we're really in the mode of it now, and so we're excited to get the pool open and get the kids out and give them moms and dads a little break from having them in the house all the time. So that's, uh, as a parent, you know how much fun that yeah. is to get your parent, your kids out and about. New addition is the pool heater this year that was installed uh, for this season. So uh, despite the outdoor temperature, the water's going to be warm. Yep, exactly. Yeah. And we do have lessons going. Yep. Yep, swim lessons are available, uh, all age groups, uh, three to uh, I think about 10 uh, or 10 plus, five different levels. Uh, and it's very individualized instruction in terms of the class size, only four or five kids to the class. Uh, they uh, meet in the mornings from 10 to noon, or you can schedule something from uh, six uh, to 7.30. Uh, the lessons last about uh, 30 minutes. There we go. And we also know that we're having some adult nights. So yeah. you want to check the website, there are some adult nights to let the adults come down and actually check out our new pool and all the features that have it. We'll have um, some adult beverages along and some uh, some music and things. Yep. So we invite the public to come down, check out the pool, and see what's happening even at the adult level. Yeah, it's for all ages. <laughs> Great. I know all that information, updates about capacity levels, registering for swim lessons, all that can be found at swimnorthmankato.com. So exactly. That's where and you know, we want to make sure, just to assure everybody, we are doing our best to keep everybody safe. The staff is here keeping social distancing. We're doing sanitizing and all those important things. So come on down, check it out. It's a great time to come and play. Wonderful. What else is going on in July in North Mankato Taylor Library offering um, some events? We are having the Music in the Park series again. This year we're moving it from near Water Department number one, Water Station one, down to Wheeler Park. So we've got more space for folks. But we are having music down there and they start uh, July 9th and it's every Thursday night in, in, uh, in July. Um, just a great opportunity to come recreate with your neighbors. Uh, great use of the space by the Taylor Library. Always good music and there's always crafts for the kids. Right. They'll have plenty of things going on. There'll be some vendors down there, some pizza and some ice right. cream and things. So we invite everyone to come down and enjoy some, some live music. It's kind of nice to get live music going again in, Mini in North Mankato That's and so right. we're excited to have it happen. That's right. Smaller venues, but still live. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> and looking, outdoors. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Uh, what about Caswell Sports? They have tournaments and league play going on now? Yeah, so uh, men's and uh, men, I'm sorry, adult uh, volleyball leagues and adult softball leagues uh, started in the month of June. Uh, again, uh, with the guidance from the state of Minnesota, we'll be, we hosted our first tournament uh, a week ago and are going to be welcoming some youth uh, uh, fast pitch softball uh, tournaments uh, this upcoming month so if you get a chance please uh, take some time to maybe come up and visit it uh, adhere to the social distancing guidelines there are limited capacities compared to uh, other years uh, but it's nice to have the park open again for both regional tourism as well as uh, local adult use uh, and recreation and again so we do have some rules out there on how we're going to do this um, there is going to be some live streaming of some of the games yes. as well so that's a feature for folks as well if they don't want to come up um, but we are, we're again, keeping everybody safe and doing this under the guidance that we've gotten yeah. from the state of Minnesota. And we're excited to have a tournament every weekend in July. Yep. So again, something going on and there's high quality softball going on out there. And so we invite everybody coming. I think we've got a Peppers tournament coming in right away and that's yeah. uh, with the youth. So those are, uh, it's a lot of fun, get things going up at Caswell. Yeah. Great. Anything else to add for July? Well, you know, there's always a little something going on. So, um, you, you want know, to talk about the trail? Or oh, the, well, uh, we can. Uh, so, uh, in July, we will be talking about, um, we've been working on our bicycle trail system. Um, we're adding some elements to it this year. We'll be adding the Safe Routes to School portion from Benson Park past the uh, Caswell North Softball through uh, Dakota Meadows over to Caswell Softball and, or, and uh, past Caswell Soccer. And so, that's going to be a nice Safe Routes to School feature with a uh, with, uh, electronic crossings on yeah. Howard and on Countryside. And then we'll also be tying um, the uh, new trail from along Countryside that's coming off the uh, 
the, from Walter S. Farm Park, that'll be coming in and tying into that yeah. same system. So there'll be some additions to the trail system that way. And so we've been working on um, creating some loops um, and we'll be bringing those to the Planning Commission and to yep. the City Council. And then we'll be, um, I think we'll be doing a naming contest. Yep. Sometime into July or beginning of August, we'll get some naming contests out there like we did for the Bluff Valley Trail. Absolutely. And we'll, uh, we'll get some names hung on these new trails and these loops that we're doing. So we're excited about doing that. And, Really like to get the public's input on what they should we should be calling these things. Let's right. see where we go. Yeah, there's a nice large loop that's essentially the whole community, and then uh, different uh, various loops that people probably have been walking and biking for several years. But we're going to actually put on a map, name them, and uh, and give the community the opportunity to submit names uh, for that. And, and there's some advantages to have designated trails, and so we'll be taking advantage of those. But there's a lower north loop, there's an upper north loop, there's a greater north loop. And we'll see what comes of those with the naming rights and those types of things. So we're pretty excited about yeah. that. And it's just part of that ongoing um, involvement and improvement of the quality of life of the community. And to the point, you know, I'm getting more comments every day about just how nice the trail system is around here. People are taking more advantage of it probably than they ever have in the face of the pandemic. But we're really nice to see people out riding and walking and taking advantage of how beautiful North Bay Cato is. It's a place to walk and see. Jumping to uh, maybe a more current subject, uh, uh, during uh, likely uh, July, uh, the City Council will be uh, up, uh, taking up a report uh, prepared by uh, Chief Ross Gullickson about uh, our police department and its past uh, practices of use of force and uh, arrest records. Uh, the the uh, findings of that study are uh, yet to be released, uh, but uh, in this sort of time of, um, of review of police practices and police uh, uh, policing tactics in general. Uh, we're not going to shy away from talking about the work that our police department is doing in the community and we look forward to sharing those uh, results and facts uh, with the community so they can be assured of uh, our steps to uh, ensure that the practice of justice is administered fairly across all uh, racial groups. And, and the preliminary results are really fair. I mean I think yeah. they really are recognize the, the diversity of our community and they're really re reflective of that so we're really pleased with how well and how safe they take care of us again goes to the quality of life here and we really want to um, emphasize the transparency that we're they're doing a good job and we're proud of the yeah. job they're doing yep so more to come uh, in the upcoming uh, weeks and months but uh, definitely going to be taking part of this uh, both statewide national maybe international conversation yep, absolutely well, I think it's about time that we get in the pool, get some concessions, a slushy, something like that. Right. Well, one, one more, more thing before we do this with that, you know, I do want to talk about Sitting Bull. That's come up. <laughs> um, and Sitting Bull um, is across the street from the pool. You can see him over there. We've had him all cleaned up. He's looking beautiful. Um, and uh, John and uh, Nate have taken uh, the time to take some of our Native American friends around the community, yeah. give them an idea of where we might be willing to place him. And we've asked them for some input on that. Yeah. And they have uh, reached out to the Hunk Papa tra uh, Band from South Dakota, which Sitting, and Sitting Bull was a member of, and asked them for input on where we're going to place them. So we're waiting to get that feedback yeah. back. And then once we get that um, back, we will try and find a, a respectful place to place that statue and get him out there in the public where he can be viewed and enjoyed. And uh, then again, we talk about using the uh, using that as a as a point of emphasis for some programming through the library. Yeah. So the future. So we think there's some real opportunity to do some interesting, creative things through the library with City Bowl. So we're looking forward to getting him placed. But for the moment, we're keeping him secure until we find the, the most respectful yeah. spot for him. So he'll be coming out soon. Um, but if you want to check him out, he's over by the by the street department over there. So very good. And with that, I would say, <laughs> let's go that, and jump in the pool. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds good to me. Thank right. you guys for being here. And thank you for joining us. This has been the North Mankato Community Update. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.